Right now we're standing in the old town of Lovdiv. This town is the oldest inhabited town in Europe, dating back over 5,000 years. What you see behind me is Hisar Gate. That dates back to the 5th century and was built by Romans and that is part of the Roman wall of Lovdiv. Right now we're at the highest hill in the old town of Plovdiv. Its name is called Nebet Tepe and it was given that name by the Ottomans and it means the defense tower. This hill has been occupied since the 3rd millennium BC by Thracians. It was later conquered by Philip of Macedon and then reinforced by Romans, Byzantines and then eventually Ottomans. The only thing that's left here are some structures from the Roman and Byzantine period, but most of it has been demolished because so many civilizations have come through this hill. You have an amazing view of the old town and the new town, and it's something you have to see. Right now we're under an overpass, and here they found the Cardo Maximus and an ancient Roman villa. This has been incorporated into the museum Tracart, and here you can walk around the mosaics and you can see a video that shows you what this villa used to look like. Another thing that you can see in the Track Art Museum is an exhibition with Thracian glass works. This is the most impressive thing I've seen in Bulgaria thus far from the Thracian era. The museum is only a five minute walk from the tourist information office and you have to see it. seven meters below street level in what remains of the Roman Stadium. Here, 30,000 people at a time would witness chariot races and gladiatorial battles. When you're in Plovdiv, you cannot miss this just because we're right under the main pedestrian street, Tsar Alexander. Theater of Philippopolis. This is one of the best preserved Roman theaters in the entire world. It was built in the first century by the Roman Emperor Trajan. It played a huge role in the cultural life of the Romans and it still does the same thing for the people of Plovdiv today. Currently, Plovdiv is hosting the annual International Folklore Festival. Like every ancient Roman city, Plovdiv had a forum, which served as a public square, marketplace, and assembly point. The ruins of Plovdiv's forum are located behind the main post office. The northern part of the forum complex contains the Odeon, a 300-seat theater used for meetings and concerts. Plovdiv's main street runs directly through the city. It is very wide and pedestrian-friendly, great for strolling day, or night. Here you'll find several shops, cafes, and restaurants. The old town has a completely different look and feel. Cobblestone streets run between colorful 19th century homes, many of which are now museums that are open to the public. Inside, visitors will see exhibits of clothing, jewelry, religious items, costumes, and beautiful architecture of the Bulgarian Revival period. You will be spoiled for choice when it comes to dining out in Plovdiv. Our favorite restaurants include... This place looks like an average wine shop, but is actually a gourmet restaurant. Owned by the Porteva family, this simple, elegant restaurant is the best place to sample delicious Bulgarian wines paired with homemade foods. Be sure to book the multi-course tasting menu in advance. With five locations throughout Plovdiv, 
the Diana restaurants serve up popular Bulgarian dishes family style. Try the delicious skewered meats and amazing homemade cheese bread. This traditional restaurant is known for its lively performances and generous portions. Restaurant Migdana hosts traditional Bulgarian folk dances almost every night. Call ahead to reserve a table with a view so you can enjoy the show. This is one of the city's fanciest restaurants. It is located near the entrance to the old town in an elegant mansion. The house features a private art gallery, but we especially love the food, which is an assortment of Mediterranean and Bulgarian dishes. We hope this video helps you explore the amazing and historical city of Blobdiv.